Let's go ahead now and do a experiment using universal indicator. In this graduated cylinder, I've got the ionized water, and I've added a little bit of sodium hydroxide just to make it basic to start with. So let's go ahead and add some of our universal indicator. So we get a lovely, nice purple color here. And we'll put a little bit more in there. There we go. That's a pretty good looking purple color. Now to make the solution acidic, we're going to add to this some dry ice. Dry ice is simply frozen carbon dioxide. And when carbon dioxide dissolves in water, it forms carbonic acid. So let's go ahead and put a piece of dry ice into our container here. And watch as the pH slowly drops and the colors begin to change. So it starts out with a lovely purple color. Looks like that's already beginning to lighten up a little bit. Now it's moving a little more toward the blue. Oh, that's a nice blue color now. Oh, now it's green. I like that green color. And then eventually it turns yellow. Now, carbonic acid that's formed when carbon dioxide dissolves in water is not a very strong acid. So it's not going to be able to make the pH get real low here. It might only be a pH of six or so. If you make universal indicator even more acidic, it will change colors even beyond the yellow. So rather than wait for the uh, carbonic acid to slowly do that, let's go ahead and add a few drops of hydrochloric acid and we can speed that up. Although you can already see the yellow is beginning to get a bit of a more golden tinge here. But let's go ahead and add a few drops of the hydrochloric acid. Oh, there we go. It gets a bit of a more amber color now. It's hard for carbon dioxide to push the color that far, but if we add some hydrochloric acid to it, we can see the full range that you can get with universal indicator. Eventually, if we add enough acid to it, it turns that lovely rosé color. So this is a very fun demonstration to do. You can do this also with cabbage juice. If you wanted to do this at home, you can buy dry ice at the grocery store. That's where my dry ice came from. You can make cabbage juice just as I will illustrate in the lab video for this week's lab. And you can do the same type of thing in any glass container you happen to have at home. So if you decide to do that, it's a great thing to do for Halloween.